Hi, welcome to P.L. Wooden Exposed. I am so glad that you've taken the time to join me today. P.L. Wooden Exposed is an extension of the Upper Room Ministry where I get a chance to talk to you and to give my opinion on various issues and topics with a thus saith the Lord uh, slant to it. I've been told by people that what Pastor Wooden doesn't understand is that you have to separate religion from politics or you got to separate religion from this or or religion from that. Well, I believe that God speaks to every aspect of our lives. The Bible says in Proverbs 3 and 6, in all, not some, but in all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct thy path. So whether I'm talking about uh, elections or politics or laws that are being passed or things that's happening that affect the people of God, um, I want you to continue to tune in and be a part of P.L. Wooden Exposed. We talk about family issues, judicial issues, entertainment issues, but we want to know what the God of the Bible has to say about these things and how they affect God's people. So stay tuned and tell a friend about P.L. Wooden Exposed. Every day across America, excess food is gathered by a network of good people at local food banks, giving hope to millions of children who struggle with hunger. They've earned their wings, and you can too. Together, we can solve child hunger. Support Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. Welcome back to P.L. Wooden Exposed. We're having a wonderful conversation with the uh, chairman of the Commission of Public Health, uh, also a 2012 Electoral College member for the state of North Carolina, Miss Felice Pete. Uh, she's a member of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. She's a member of the <laughs> body of Christ. She loves Jesus and she loves this state and she loves her people. Uh, married to a wonderful man, a dear friend of mine, Dr. Uh, Carl Pete, and they have a wonderful, beautiful, handsome son, uh, Reagan Douglas Pete. And uh, what, a, what a tremendous woman of God you are, and I'm Thank enjoying you. this time. Now, I want to talk about a, a subject that is always near and dear to us as members of the Upper Room. Yes. Because we are constantly, we're, we're concerned about the plight of the poor. I don't Correct. know how you can be a Christian Correct. and not be concerned about the poor. Uh, we just did the numbers the other day, and at the Upper Room, we fed um, last year 8,500 families, which right now Upper Room ranks as the fifth largest distributor of food in this area. Right. And that's not from government grants or government dollars. That's the tithe and offerings of the saints at work. Right. Um, um, and, and we do this, we don't advertise it. You, you won't see us join the commercials of people right. doing Thanksgiving where you see people giving away turkeys and all this right. because we do it all the time. Right. There are 52 weeks in a year and people's got to eat every week. Right. So we don't just talk, the talk, we, we walk the walk, and, and you are a supporter of the church, a tither, a giver, mm -hmm. so you're feeding right. those, those people also. Right. But we hear quite a bit in the news, you know, you, you see the Morrow Mondays gatherings, and we hear from uh, others that uh, people who are, are conservative, um, people who are on the right, right, don't care about the poor. That, 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 that our position is let the poor fend for themselves. Now, I do think on the right, we have not done a great job, a good job as Christians, uh, and, and there are people who are on the right who are not, but as Christians, uh, not telling our story right. and not sharing that, uh, that no one is as generous toward the poor as those who are, who are conservative, those who are born again, right. those who love the Lord Jesus. Right. Now there are laws and, and there, there are things that are being pushed um, that, are, that, that make the news, that are they're painting a, a false picture of where we stand with regard to being concerned about that 
everyday person, that struggling young lady. Listen, she's got three children. Right. She's never been married. Right. But she is still for whom Christ died. Yes. Those kids can grow up and make a tremendous difference in the world. Uh, you know, I, I, I believe in social safety nets. I just don't believe in socialism. <laughs> and I believe that the, the, so, the, the, the safety nets, uh, I, I, was, I was part of a well, my mom went on welfare for a minute. Right. And so uh, I thank the Lord that my children don't know welfare. I thank right. God that uh, my children never knew free lunch. I did, and, and, and I'm glad that it was there at the time, but I didn't, it, didn't, it didn't become a crutch. What's going on? What do you have to say about uh, what's happening uh, in the media and, and more, more importantly, in the, in the legislature and with laws and things that are being pushed um, with regards to concern about the poor? Well, first of all, when we talk about the poor and when um, the left or the collective groups talk about the poor, they leave out something that Jesus said, mm. and that's the poor would be with you always. Yes. So always help them. So we hear all of these policies um, that say, we don't want the poor. We don't want anybody to be poor. We're gonna have the war on poverty to do away with poverty mm -hmm. because poverty is an ill and an injustice. Well, most of all, it's an ill and injustice because this massive government is trying to handle it. It's no wow. personal wow. touch to it. So charities tend to do much better. Churches, uh, different groups, Salvation Army, Red Cross, name your, your charitable group, and they do better because there's a relationship with the person. Mm -hmm. The woman with three babies mm -hmm. and not married, mm -hmm. um, possibly would only have two babies right. if there is a relationship wow because yeah. the person would be, well, how are you doing? Right. Well, what's going on? The church right. would be, well, here, right. this is, and there would be an accountability to the individual, one for her and the church and the people that helped her. Oh, she, could, she could see that. Yeah. As a government entity, people do not see that. And so they legislate away the goods. In wow. steps corruption, mm. which is why the government has done such a poor job at the war on poverty. Because once it's in the hands of all the administrators, all of these people chomping at the beat, all of the leagues and associations that purport to help poor people is corruption and cronyism. That's and that's it. on both sides, left yeah. and right. 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 Take your take your program, mm -hmm. you know, um, and, and so that's why big government is a problem and governments should not be in the business of helping people. It's not constitutionally bound. Mm -hmm. It's not anywhere in any um, founders notes that you can mm -hmm. find, mm -hmm. because, again, as Christian believers it's about the individual. The Lord did not say that Rome or right. help the people at right. the tip of the Roman spear, that you give to Rome at the tip of the spear. Right. He said that you help, that That's you right. feed your brother, that you That's feed right. your neighbor. The collective we do in Christian will, then we as a group can do that. But what has changed is the government is confiscating money in the way of taxes yes. at the tip of a Caesar spear. I see, I see. So many times then what people would have to give. to give to the poor. They don't have because the government is taking it right. and redistributing it and, and they're not doing a good job at it. And so therefore the collective group right. thinks that they are charitable. Wow. So they, it's almost, to me, it's almost like the effect that of all things, Christian television, and I'm, I'm on television, but I noticed that as Christian television has spread and, yes. and become more popular. Fewer and fewer individual believers share their faith. Right. People don't witness because they think that the faith is being shared on the on the television. Correct. But there is nothing like word of mouth. Word of mouth. So when people vote for these politicians who say we're going to eradicate poverty, mm -hmm. we're going to make sure this and that is in place to feed the poor. Well, I guess they go home thinking that they've done their job. Right. And so when they see a person who is actually poor and, and, and who could actually use the help, Correct. the assumption is we've already We've already you. given or wow. already done. Um, wow. I have an instance of a 
very, very left-leaning, wealthy person mm -hmm. who is a friend of mine mm -hmm. who um, I often ask, hey, can you help with this? There's a person who's in need. And she says, I paid my taxes. She said, we had an increase in giving. And that's wow. my charity. I was like, wow. oh, no, 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 no. That's not charity. Mm. That's taxes. That's taxes. That's they the don't do. We, do. we can't follow the money. Ronald Reagan once did a follow the money piece on where your government money goes. Mm -hmm. And people will be astounded. Mm -hmm. um, if all of these agencies of the government, they have to be paid. Right. So first of all, if you're going through social services with your money, some of that tax money is paying those people. Very little gets Get to the, to the people, payment. whether okay. if they would come to an upper room right. or they go to a Felice and Carl, mm -hmm. you just do it. Right. And most, and right. those are the right. stories that don't get told about the war in part, that is more on the conservative side, is that we just do it. We'll just give. Because if it's in my means, can two or three of us get mm -hmm. together? My grandmother recently needed something. Mm -hmm. And she was like, well, the government, I'm waiting to see if I'm approved. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I was like, well, what is it? I mean, mm -hmm. you know, what is it? Mm -hmm. And so I just made a couple of calls and I was like, well, she doesn't qualify, but how is it that we, this family, can't just do it? Can't just do it. And so we did. So That's we just right. did it. That's so right. there was something that taking That's that great. and just taking That's it to great. the individual. The government has done more to cause poverty. And now they're talking about income inequality. Um, Right. than any other system right. has right. because of taxation, mm -hmm. regulation, mm -hmm. especially in the black community, mm -hmm. um, business regulations, all the regulations that are on, on businesses, all the taxes that they have to pay right. that will stymie hi hiring, right. which will stymie even, even entrepreneur entrepreneurships right. Right. and um, patents for things, figuring out a way to make it because you have to look at the over cost of the oppressive government taxation system. The entire code should probably be vamped, revamped or something, but there's money in it. Mm. There's money in it for the government, there's not for the people. So there's, there's money in, in the government keeping people <laughs> dependent. I believe so. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, seems like to me the war on poverty is, from the government standpoint, is a war uh, for poverty, to keep poverty <laughs> right. going. And also, I noticed that uh, they do not do anything uh, uh, in the government to curtail, curtail behavior. See, in getting a, a blessing uh, from the church, helping a person, we're going to help them. We're going to talk to them also. Right. Because no one can help you if you don't help yourself. Right. And decisions have consequences. And, 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 and as an African-American minister who is deeply involved in the community, I, I, again, I preach to everyone, but I see people who look like me. Yes. And, uh, and I love my people. I, right. I, I, I boast, I say that I'm right. the blackest right. black preacher <laughs> in Raleigh. Uh, you know, I, right. didn't, I, didn't, I didn't support uh, I, the, the current occupied White House, but right. I'm still for the people. Right. And I know that behavior uh, goes a long way uh, in America, in America right. yes. toward poverty. Yes, yes. And, and that's why our system, again, unique. Going back to the individual, mm -hmm. um, the, the, the choices that you make, decisions that you make, they have profound impact. And again, we're hearing more than ever now a government that wants to take the process of consequence of action right. out. Right. That we are guaranteeing that you not be in poverty. I think most recently our president said that he wants everybody who works hard to be able to make it in America. Well, there's no guarantee of that. No. He wants to guarantee that. Well, you can't, can't. You, you just can't. There's no way anyone can do that. Again, government can't do God's work. Mm -hmm. I mean, God doesn't set that out mm -hmm. and we have God. Right. He doesn't set right. out that you right. are going to be, right. um, 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 not have any bad days, not right. have any hard times, That's not have good. these outcomes That's and the good. people who are, at the top, I call the elites, the power structure, the ruling class, mm -hmm. really is what it's become. Mm -hmm. 
to keep the people at a certain level, to keep them dependency with, with these things and say, all the while, while they're elite, <laughs> all the while there's income inequality, all the while they're in the 1% when they did the 99% and the 1%. However, the people don't get mad with the person speaking who's in the 1% who's probably really confiscated most, most right. of your dollars. Right. Right. They get mad with the everyday working person who seems to have um, just been doing their job, have made a way, you know, burned the midnight oil, you know, you stayed, you know, stayed hard, didn't, didn't party, you know, maybe too much and, and did the right thing, you know, but it is, uh, it, it is very interesting to me that the war on poverty, the um, war on income inequality is a very basic instinct, a mm -hmm. very basic sin. I think we saw it first with Lucifer. It right. is pride, pride and envy. Yeah. And that's yeah. where it comes from, mm. is pride and envy. Mm. Because they don't say, hmm, well, what did Felice or what did Carl do to do, to do this so that they can be givers? They exactly. say, they shouldn't make that much anyway. Right. They should be taxed. Right. They should be taxed right. at forty right. percent. Um, so, so that becomes well. Why? Well, well, you didn't give it to me. I worked hard for mm -hmm. this. And so then the, we find a way to say, well, wait, we have to do this. But but because we're Christians, we still are givers. Right. But the tax code is so restricted and so oppressive, and it's governments to cause this inequality. I um, said recently um, when speaking about the income inequality to people, I said, well, would you like income equality? Mm -hmm. That's Venezuela and Cuba. <laughs> Cuba has income equality. Income equality. And it must work very well because the massive truck boats that try right. to get to Miami, right. you know, right. I mean, they either like, right. maybe they don't like equality. Right. All of a sudden equality is right. not so great if you're in Venezuela and right. Cuba. Uh, and the thing that concerns me most about these things that we don't help the poor, all in the interest of helping the poor, that's why we have these massive policies that tear down the social fabric yes. of a nation. Yes. And we have prime examples. Most recently, we do have Venezuela mm -hmm. um, did the same type of policies that we are now enacting. It took 15 years from them to go to capitalism to now they are plummeted into communism. Oh my Lord. Well, I tell you, um, I, the things that you're saying are so important. And, and let me say this to you, those who are listening, Hear this, study uh, this interview and the things that we've talked to you about. <clears throat> this war on poverty, it, the fact is that we haven't moved the needle at all. At all. Government <laughs> is not the answer. Yeah. Um, and you can't guarantee the pursuit of, of life, liberty, life, liberty, and the, it is the pursuit of, of happiness, happiness, not the guaranteed outcome thereof. And, and I love what you, your point you made about uh, uh, what, what a person should want whether in envying or your, your station in life or anyone else's, try to find out what that person did. Right. Try to study their, their decisions and, uh, and, and work hard. And, and I believe this. I believe that God will bless everyone uh, the way he wants them to be blessed. Now, I don't believe that income equality right. <laughs> Now listen to me. I don't believe that it's, that, that it's scriptural because God doesn't deal with people that way. Right. Jesus blessed some 30, <laughs> some 60, and some 100 fold. The Lord right. speaks of giving one man one talent, another man two, two. and another man three. So in, in, in an attempt to make things equal, what they're doing is they're pulling, they're pulling people down, yes. but they're not pulling, pulling people, people up. up. Right. And we need, uh, in the church, what we've seen, we've seen people come up. I've mm -hmm. seen people yes. come to the church on welfare and end up owning their own businesses, and right. they're still in the church today. Right. I know what God can do when a person put their hand in his hand right. and, and obey the Lord. This has been an interesting, interesting time. I want to thank you for coming out and sharing with us. And, and I want to say to the persons who, are, who have visited us today, get involved. Uh, this is our time 
This is our season. And I believe this. I believe if you miss this moment, you'll miss the moment like the young man missed it when the Lord Jesus said to him, yes. follow, follow me. me. Correct. And that young man said to the Lord, I'll follow you, but let me first go and bury my dad. The truth is, more than likely, Felice, his father wasn't even sick. Right. That was a, an idiomatic right. expression of saying, I have other things to do. Right. I got to make sure dad is buried first, then I'll go and preach the gospel. Right. And, and, and our Lord says, no, 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 right. this thing is urgent. Yeah. Let the dead, the spiritually dead, bury their dead, but you go and preach the Correct. gospel. My friends, go and preach the gospel. Get involved in the Correct. process. Right. Do your homework. Don't be a low information voter, but get involved. And if you do, you'll make the world a little bit better for yourself and for your loved ones. Of course, it's not, of course Felice is not going to get right, right. Until, until Jesus, Jesus comes. comes. That is correct. <laughs> and I'm excited about right. that. Right, but we're occupying. Hallelujah. Right. <laughs> we want to occupy. Until the next time, you've been watching P.L. Wooden Exposed. Every day across America, excess food is gathered by a network of good people at local food banks, giving hope to millions of children who struggle with hunger. They've earned their wings, and you can too. Together, we can solve child hunger. Support Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org.